Welcome to the Empire, everybody. This is Rampain, and welcome back to my Cyrodiilic Empire campaign, where we are going to continue left off from last time. We are pushing our front forward into Skyrim, and this is going to be the first battle that we get to have with the Emperor himself, Teirodo Septim the Seventh, lead an army against the traitorous Skyrim forces. So I'm going to get into this today. I can't wait to see this army on the field of battle. Just look at this. This is the just literally the paragon of an imperial force. So let's get into this. Because I'm going to try and have the Emperor continue pushing through Iverstead and then, or you know, this is Yorkstead, isn't it? Um, one of the two. Uh, towards Helgen. I'm going to have him continue pushing this way and then towards uh, Whiterun while I'm having Madame Marco um, push towards... He's, he's besieging Windhelm right now, if I remember correctly. Let's start this battle and kind of see where I can go. I can go at most about here. Okay, I'm going to kind of do that. I want to kind of go up and above this hill a little bit. So I can kind of just grab all my guys and bring them over here. I just want to move up a little bit. Just to stand, like, right here. I like this position. Let's grab my infantry. Let's grab all of you guys. Grab all of my archers. Put the archers in front. You guys on the flank. And you guys on the other flank. And mages. And I think I should be able to convince them to attack me, possibly. Get to finally see how these guys are on the field of battle now, because I know mages have been a little nerfed. Um. But they're still a fairly powerful unit, so we'll get to see how they operate. Oh, this is going to take some time to get my men in position, so I'll come back to you guys in a second. Although, actually... Okay, I'm going to... I was about to try and attack you guys initially, and... Uh, deal with you, but let me at least move my cavalry right here. <laughs> in case you guys decide to try and attack me while I'm getting everybody set up. I'm trying to have everybody walk into position. I don't want people to rush to position because we are trying to walk uphill. That would uh, tire my guys way too quickly. But at least if I can get my cavalry which, how do you guys compare? So I'm a little bit better. My, my attack is lower but my defense is higher. Oh, you guys also have a lot of experience, too. Okay, so they should be at 8 base. So they're still a little bit better. But I'm going to try and get my archers in position. You're practically all up the hill. Let's, let's rush you guys in position. You guys get in position first, and you guys. So then you can actually try and uh, target these caviars in case they decide to attack us. I'm hoping I can get into position, lure them into attacking me, because they're going uphill too. I love that. Um, and then we can have our position already set up on the hill and rain down fire upon them. Uh, let's get my mages here too. You guys can kind of go a little slower. I'm just trying to make sure you guys don't try and attack me right here. Just just sit there. Just, just, just watch. My archers get in position and have them start opening fire. Just look at this army. I love this army. It looks so bad on us. Just an entire army of just Imperials. I wish some of the other um, like mercenary units had some more of their own unique... Ooh, I like those updated shots. Had some of them with their own updated uh, units. Because I would love to have like a Dawn Guard army full of Dawn Guard. Like have Dawn Guard cavalry. But we don't, sadly. Okay, you guys run forward. We're advancing forward. Ooh, the companions are getting wrecked. Look at this. They're shaking already. They do not like the volleys of fire. Okay, you guys are holding the flanks. They're winning slightly. I don't like that. Can you guys open fire on these guys a little bit, maybe? Try and give some uh, help out to them. 
Because overall, in an extended fight, they'll probably beat me. Never played Warriors got fucked. Jesus, I've killed 20% of their forces already? Holy shit. This is what you get, no, uh, you fucking nerds. Okay, let's bring you guys over here. Trying to focus the tag this time, too, because they just are superior to my tab. Oh, you guys are out of ammunition already. How many kills did they get already? Let's move you guys up a little bit since I moved my infantry forward. Oof, it's gotta be painful for you guys. How do you guys try and help out? Kind of rush up here. I'm also gonna have the Emperor honestly help out too, since he's an army. He's a blades unit. I'm gonna have him try and help out too. It's just the cavalry that's really doing the number on me. Plus one percent of the force so far. God, the Nords have no backbone. Then again, this is by far the best army I can field, literally. I'm just. I was not expecting to have killed so many of their men so quickly. Is that like, what, 42 now? I still don't know where their general is. <laughs> you guys are breaking on contact. I'm just shredding you guys. Like the companions came and stand up to us. They're at least holding better with their mobile. Only half the enemy force remains. I have lost three percent of my forces and killed half of theirs. My God! Like, what do you guys even have left? One of you are just running. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field. Our men are them down now. Enemy general, guard him well. And I want to get to the so magic eighty five. We're at fifty six. So we're close. Lost quite a bit of my cavalry. Our men are shame. winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will get those smash guys. The a lot of them right there. Please get them. The enemy army oh, continue. The field. Pursue and run They're all down. running now, then. We should be able to get to the magic eight. Five. Please. 70. Come on, don't let them get away. Not let them get away. Seven. Eighty-three. I think we got this. My cavalry did take a beating. Then again, in extended combat with their cavalry, the Nords do have the advantage there, which is kind of funny. I would not know the Nords to be well known for their uh, mounted units. At least I got a lot of experience. This is a clear oh, victory that goes to only men of great Did I heal many valor. for my cavalry? Healed. Two and eleven. Okay, so they healed a few more. Uh, who got the most kills, though, out of my units? Oh, not even that many. Only like a hundred or something at most. Okay, though. We took minimal casualties and don't massive casualties on their end. Okay, because then we can continue trying to advance on Yorick's stead. I really want them to try and attack me. Bring armies they think they can try and beat the Emperor and just prove them wrong. I'll try and ransom them. They actually accepted that. Holy shit. Iverstead. Okay, so it is Iverstead. They actually accepted that. Well, this is a way for me to try and get a little bit more money, is through that. But, come on, try and fight me. Try and fight the fucking Emperor. If you guys think you can take on the Emperor, oh, you're mistaken. Um, one thing I'm also going to be trying to do right now, though, is... Because I have Mana Mudgo, he's right here. Oh, you guys are about to attack me. I think I'm going to assault Windhelm. We should be fine, but like, let's see, you guys, yeah, all of you guys have on no upkeep. So I am most certainly going to try and have it so that um, I can send more undead to the front lines. Like, you could get it, here's one. Um, how are you guys, okay, let me check something first, because you guys are 
Oh, you're good to go. You guys are ready. So Black Light, how's Black Light feel? You guys know you can see. They're still unhappy. They're losing people, but that's okay. Um, they're not happy enough for this, though. That's going to be negative 10. Let me do this. Do I already have plus 5 from that right now? No, that would help. This takes three turns, though. So let's get a few buildings to help with public order right here. But then after that, we will start trying to get some more. Um, so I can try and start recruiting some undead. Let's take the Akaviri, though. Get them on a ship. And actually, let's drop them off here for now. Let's have them help out. Get the hell out of my way, you stupid rebels. Um, let's help out around Windhelm. I'm going to kill Captain Embry. Oh, he's just not going to fuck with us. Oh, I'm going to destroy you, though. What do you got? You have a bunch of Skyrim Swordsmen and Mages of Winterhold. And actually, I'm going to check something. How is... I, I really want to keep track of the military of Skyrim. It's dropping. Good. So what I'm going to do... There's going to be a lot of battles today. Um, I'm going to kill you guys with the Akaviri, because the Akaviri are finally back in the front lines. Um, let's fight this battle. I know one thing I'm going to try and do is a lot of these units right here... I'll try and leave them as more garrison troops. So right here, let's recruit more Ak... Well, sorry. I'm not allowing myself to recruit more Akaviri from here. Never mind. I want to replace them, but I'm still trying to have those limitations. I want myself to train them. Not I can at least replace these guys with, like, actual legionary cohorts. Let's do that. That'll be a better army, then. Because uh, those guys are still pretty good. But no. let's now kill these guys. Try and have every opportunity to destroy um, Skyrim armies in their entirety. So that way we can continue to destroy... Well, also, I've never tried Ransom, I mean, a lot. I like killing off armies entirely. But if they actually accept the Ransoms, it's also me trying to reduce their economy. Like, drain resources from them. Let's see, Naginatas, you guys always are a wonderful center line. You guys on the flanks. And you guys on the flanks. These guys are always just spare units, because I know they never need them. Um, and then all of you guys, you can just stay where you are, I'm not too worried. And this is actually pretty good, we'll just start the battle. I'm hoping they'll advance on me, because I'm going to have so much more fun with them doing that than the other way around. Uh, let me make sure you guys... Yep, you have guard mode on, perfect. Come out to me, dammit! This is the first time you guys get to face off against the Akaviri. The Zetshi shall destroy you. Who's their general? Their general. Tell. The mages are already being destroyed. That's four percent of their forces. Good. So it looks like it is this cabinet right here. Focus the mages first. That's top priority. Do not let the mages survive, and then if you need to, or if you can, open fire on the monopolite. I'm gonna wait until the mages are dead, then I'm actually gonna pull my guys back a little. No, I'm gonna pull my guys back now. Pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Get back behind the line of Noginothos. Hi guys, you're not gonna like my center line. <laughs> You are not going to like them. I'm not going to like you over here, though, either. You guys will not do nearly as well. You didn't take any damage in that charge. Jesus Christ. I was expecting them to take some damage from that. Our men are winning the battle. Yeah, same here. If we oh continue my God. like this, we will smash the enemy. You guys are fucking ridiculous. No, oh, just hold the center line. Yeah, the cavalry are getting their asses kicked. Oh, it's beautiful. Speed this up and just watch the kill count rise. Still kind of waiting until maybe some of their cavalry is dead. 
for some other calf. I'm gonna try and get rid of some other calves so that way we can uh, just start rear charging a lot of other guys. You guys move out of the way. Go two to three. But you guys, I still love you. You guys are my favorite defensive unit right now. They're the closest thing I'll get to having pikemen again in my Imperial armies. You guys feel like you're winning, and yet there's just a pile of corpses forming in front of them. You guys really think you're going to win this? Focus the jungle down. Focus him down, and then you guys just try and run back a little bit. I'll start getting ready to flank and charge them. You guys too? Over here. Uh, let's actually grab these guys for once. Move over here. We're gonna help flank a little bit. Our plates run away. General's almost dead. So if we can secure this flank, we can actually bring you guys forward to flank. Oh yeah, they're gonna stop him now. Try and kill that unit. They might start breaking now. Okay, you guys charge right here. There we go, now we're shaking. Oh, that. You guys are now charging another one. Our men have slain the enemy God, you guys are really good at holding those charges. I was almost expecting to lose more from that. They have lost half their men. Four, four, four. Yeah, help out against that I'll play you know, a little bit more. Uh, let's have you do the same thing. Run down here and help out. 59 out of 4. Okay, the enemy general is now dead. And now you guys can just pick your own targets and just reset that. Alrighty then, now we get to surround the enemy and just kill them all. Run down this guy with spearmen. Although if I'm going to ransom more often, maybe I need to try and fully just kill off more units instead of capturing them. Okay. Archers, you want to kill a bunch of them before I just capture the rest of their army? Because my god. I'm actually going to give you guys AI command to help capture people. Archers just keep shooting, guys. I think this army we're going to try and... Well, no. I can think I can just try and keep spamming Ransom. And eventually, they'll just also just stop being able to accept. So, it'll still be a great way to try and kill off armies if I can just destroy their economy and reduce the amount of money they've got. Oh, maybe one. I just want more experience for these cab units. There we go. And actually, the more I capture, the light more likely they're not able to pay the amount I've got. Let's run down that one last unit that actually had a decent amount of guys, and then we'll be good. Because we've already killed 97% of the forces, there's not many of them left. Just this one unit left. As there's 45 of them in there. There's Skyrim Swordsman, they're not too bad. Oh, you guys are trying. Alrighty, that's good enough. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here ah. today. I love the archers these guys have. The Siphon with Yumi are fucking wonderful. Maybe I need to try and have it, if I'm still going to limit myself to where people can recruit stuff, that um, I have a ship go sail down towards um, Wit the city. It's the one next to uh, Rimen. I'll try and ransom. I actually accepted it. Got me ran away. That's okay. Um, I'll get back on the boat uh, next turn, and we'll have these guys continue marching up and go for um, Winterhold. But... That's no, fine. Let's actually assault Windhelm. I know the turrets are not going to be active, so we should be able to easily do this, too. Oh, they don't have many men. Also, I have 3,700 men, so let's rush into this. I just don't want to trust the auto-resolve with some of these battles. Um, I know it's going to technically delay the campaign a little bit more. It's going to make it take longer the more battles I fight. But I like fighting all these battles right now. If I get bored, I'll get bored and I'll try and avoid that. But this war is important enough that we need to be very particular in how we're using our troops. Um, called Warlocks. Um, and actually... 
You guys I am gonna have on the little I think you guys are faster than most of the units. Let's actually have you guys kind of over here. I have a lot of archers. All of you turn off fire arrows, please. Their towers are not gonna be active, so I'm just gonna line you guys up along. Let you start opening fire. Um, let's send the, yeah, the Draugr on the gates. I guess the zombie horde on the walls. I would prefer to have you guys actually on the ram, honestly. I'm gonna yeah, switch that. I prefer zombies on the ram. Um, let's do that. You guys drop the ram. Come up here. Uh, you guys wanna be sitting back and waiting. I'll put you on that as well. Um, the only other units I haven't moved are you guys. So you sit behind the archers and then Monomodoko. This is the right y'all. And there we go. Let's start the battle. Start rushing towards the gates and the walls. Are they updating? Let me update the wall. The towers. The towers still should be active. Forward! We will claim the city for the Empire! And actually, uh, let's move you guys up a little bit more. So it's not a little bit. Make sure you guys can open fire. Oh, that's why you guys are really slow. Ew. Okay, I should have done that. Well, let's move my archers up a little bit more so you guys can start focus firing guys on the walls. Ladders are almost to the walls. Because Vloom Rates should be able to do... Oh, you guys have a pretty good attack. There's a bunch of town archers. They have a lot of archers. Oh, they do have some more plate up here, right, too. Do you guys actually cause walls. terror? Yes, you do. Nowhere to hide now. Okay, I'm gonna send a lot of you guys over the here. Are now in place. Send a lot of the Draugr onto the walls. I'll send a lot of the skeleton into the gate. Um, oh, for a moment, I thought the ram was burning. That's why I shouldn't have you guys almost on the walls? You guys still haven't fired yet. We go just a little bit more. You guys just need a little bit more range. They're probably using this as an act to condemn the empires that we're using an army of undead to conquer them. But no, we, we just accept all kinds of people into the empire. Everybody's welcome as, welcome as long as they serve the Emperor faithfully. Oh, what the hell is going on with you, man? Is he just T-posing? He spasmed and then T-posed. Alright, alright, alright. Um, I don't know why you guys stopped going up that way, but... Hey, that works. Ugh, I forgot how much the city can lag a little bit. Solitude isn't as bad. This one's pretty bad. Just keep rushing the gates, or rushing up onto the walls. Bandits are doing some good work, too. Oof. I need to actually pause if I want to zoom in, because the game is just pretty damn laggy. I don't know why this settlement is so bad, because I know I was fighting in Solitude in my uh, smoke, uh, storm with one, and that wasn't too bad. If we continue like this, this settlement, we though, will gets smash pretty the damn bad. Oh my god, we're almost to the ram. Almost to the gate. You guys are doing pretty well there. Let's actually send you guys up here. I'll send all the zombies through the gate. Okay, so how are we doing so far? We are at... 14-2. Maybe I should push you guys a little bit closer. Okay, move up a little bit more. Same with you. You can't fire yet. Let's move you closer to the walls. Come on, all three of you. Hey. Oof, this is laggy. Okay, I'm gonna let these guys brawl it out a little bit, just because this map, it's known to be laggy. Um, now I'll come back to you guys in a bit. 
Alrighty then. The gates are finally open. We're gonna start rushing in some of my zombies and skeletons down on the main ground floor. Uh, they've lost about 37% of their own forces at the moment. And let me pause it so we can actually properly see what the hell's going on. So at the moment, we've cleared out most of this area of... Um, oh, of... I almost said of undead, but no. I mean, uh, of Skyrim uh, forces. We're continuing trying to push a little bit more this way. And the bandits are kind of surrounded right now. They're not doing so hot. These guys came back up here. But at the moment with these guys, because we're grabbing you and... What was it? You, I think? I'm going to start rushing them inside the city. I'll even probably grab my archers and start moving them up so we can start opening fire on these guys. Um, but no, the battle's going fairly well. You guys are doing much better, especially since I'm about to reinforce you with a bunch of uh, skeletons. But no, things are going well. I'll give you guys a little bit more of an update again as people continue moving forward. It's just this is still pretty laggy. Okay, back with another little update. Let me pause this so we can actually kind of see what's going on. Uh, most of my guys have finally started opening, f oh, just attacking the enemy right here. Some of the Skyrim swordsmen are trying to hold us back, but hey, I'm sending fucking zombies at them. Um, otherwise, the right here, you guys have pretty much, yeah, secured this entire area now. Um, I'm going to have, the, they're trying to focus on these guys. They're wavering, they're not breaking entirely. Um, bandits are still holding up really well. They're a little beat up. But these guys are shaking. Hopefully they'll break soon. Um, you guys, where are you? Oh, they're still standing there. You're supposed to be helping out. Because right now my skeletons are about to start floating up onto the walls right here. There's not many of them up here. So I think what I'm going to have the skeletons do is, like, you guys keep pushing towards this direction. So we can kind of surround these guys and get them to break. That way I'll be able to secure the wall... And then we can start trying to just advance on the city center. Because they've lost about 50% of their forces. I've lost only six of my own. So we're pretty much almost done with them. I've lost six six percent count. Jesus. Uh, they had, like, what? 1,600? <laughs> That's 800 guys already. Alrighty. So now we are pushing into the gates more rapidly now. I didn't even need to send these guys over here. They're just all breaking. They've now lost 84% of their forces. All of my men on the walls are about to start rushing down into the city center. We've got all of my zombies and skeletons pushing forward. The like I think this is actually their general. I believe so. Yes. They're trying to hold us back, but the army of the dead cannot be stopped. Oh god, yeah, because now it's just all my infantry just rushing forward. I'm going to start sending my uh, archers a little closer if I can, and try and get them on the walls, if possible. That way they have a higher vantage point. But now we just need to send in my infantry, and we've got this. They don't have many men left, and with me having superior numbers, the last 8% of my forces now, um, we've got this in the bag. There's no way Skyrim can try and beat me back from here. And soon, Windhelm shall be mine. Although, actually, I feel like I'll just move my archers, like, right here. They're all trying to run back to the city center. And if they can do that, then they're not going to have to worry about my morale uh, penalties I give them. But we've pretty much got this. I think I'll be just seeing you guys back on the campaign map. Seeing as how there's not much left, I just need to advance on the city center, and we've got this battle. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue oh and valor. Oh my god, that took for a fucking hour. It's not even done, is it? Wait, okay, what? Game? Are you finally done? It... There's nobody left. Okay, it just took a while for it to process and understand, hey, we're done with the battle. <laughs> oh god, that took way too long for me to get through that. I don't know what it is. Well, actually, I can probably take a good guess. That the sheer number of buildings they have in Windhelm caused the thing to cr uh, just freeze up a lot. Because I know Solitude isn't that bad. It isn't. Maybe they need to make Windhelm a little smaller, but I think this is actually the last update, so I don't sure think they're going to the do that. Ah, but Windhelm is now ours. Sure them, eh? So let me repair. Um, I want... Oh, I actually can't build that right now. I was gonna say maybe we could try and get the uh, try and get the um, stuff for the undead so I can retrain them, but no, I'm not gonna be able to. But I can at least just retrain those guys and keep pushing into their lands because let's see, it's still six turns until I actually let myself look at the map again 
but we're making some progress into Skyrim's lands. Um, you guys... Okay, I'm trying to make sure you guys are still prepared. Wait, you guys are only at 50%? What? Uh, go help out over there, please. I didn't realize this place was so bad. Really? Jesus, it is. I guess it's because of all the other guys around. Okay. I'm still hoping I can possibly get a piece with you guys. So Joffrey's pretty beat up. I don't know if he'll be able to easily take you guys out. My force is right here, though. Or at least now, ruin, I mean. You're almost all retrained. Or I'll be able to retrain you in a turn or two. I'm gonna then try and bring you guys to Ghost Gate. If I can get to Ghost Gate, maybe then I can try and be like, hey, Dagoth, do you want a piece? Um, I do have a bunch of extra guys up here that I've been recruiting. Do I have them right here right now? Yeah, like you come down here. I'm trying to recruit a bunch of these archers and just bring them to the front line. Um, for Frost Moth, get the better farm. They can keep growing. Uh, you guys get the broth or the chapel. I mean, not the broth, the chapel. Uh, Skull Village can't really do much. Blacklight. Now, if you start recruiting now, then the Akaviri are out of our way. But, let's see, down here. I think we did enough damage to Skyrim down here. I can warrant. Reclaiming this fort, maybe? Well, let me do one thing first. Never mind. I was going to say, if I had siege equipment recruited down here, um, I could just quickly take it. But I do not. Ooh, Ballista Towers now. Get them immediately. Um, you recruit some guys here. You get Ballista Towers there. You guys should then be able to defend yourselves. Same here. Kavach, get Ballista Towers. Because if you guys have Ballista Towers, you can take on a much larger force than what you have currently. Um... Oh, the settlement I was referring to is Leowing, uh, for reference. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this unit here. Women's pretty safe. You guys are still allied to me, and you're, not much is going on over here. But, what I was thinking of is I could try and get troops, uh, just a bunch of Akiviri, and sail them around. That might take forever, though, so maybe I will just have to wait until I can properly, um, actually send them guys over, so those guys over. Get another farm. Um... So we haven't seen what you They're guys do. You've left me alone here again. The <laughs> you over here. Sure um, I'll make sure the Emperor himself hears get the better chapel. I need more men down here. Caldera and Aldrun are slowly getting there. Aldrun's got a good amount of troops he can recruit, but I'm trying to retrain a bunch of guys at the moment. I just need to get to Ghostgate, and I need to try and convince Dagoth Ur to give me peace. Okay, but that should be it for this turn now. Ah, and they're finally attacking this settlement. I don't think we have much of a chance, but I'm still going to try and fight this and defend this myself. So let's get into this. We'll see how much damage we can do. Maybe 10% of their forces? That wouldn't be too bad. But I know I'm going to have to reclaim this settlement later on, so we'll have to come back. Ugh. But I have... The, the infantry units aren't bad. The infantry units aren't too bad. I think if I get lucky with the siege towers, not siege towers, the towers. Ooh, you guys have shield. Let me try putting you guys in that. Put you guys there, and then put shield like eh. Oh, eh. And eh. Put you guys at the gate. Um, let's get the battle. Which is you guys, bring you guys kind of back so you're not in the way. Just you two. And then, let's see how this goes. Please burn the sea the room. And... No. It's not going to burn that close. No. Alright. Let's uh, see how this goes. You guys are in shield wall. Kill 2%. I'm going to try to bring my gun up to The enemy's ram is through our gates. Okay. Oh, man! You're not giving this city easily! There's actually throwing guys in the air. What the fuck? Look at that. So I rush forward with my general. I guess they're not going to stay inside the city. But, hey, this is causing a lot of damage, at least. So, let's just go with it. 
Already killed eight percent of their horses, honestly. Keep spamming the horn. We've lost half hey, we've killed thirteen percent or twelve percent of their horses, though. This is a high risk, high reward. We're getting more kills than I was honestly expecting. Come on, keep holding. Come on. Got a fifteen percent. Want me more? Sixteen. George, save us. The enemy have the walls. Seventeen. So all will be lost. One. Can we get to like twenty percent? We get twenty percent. I'd be so happy. Only intervention by the Almighty. Come on. Two more percent. Victory from this. Two more percent. Reform, you spineless women. Got to eighteen. We got to eighteen percent. I think that's the best I can hope for. This defeat is a bitter drop to swallow. But hey, you guys gave them hell. You guys gave them absolute hell. You killed more men than you lost. I that's all I can ask for, really. Alrighty, I think I'm actually gonna be ending this video here now. I know last video I had to be a really long one. So I'm gonna have this one be a little shorter. because uh, I think that's a good place to end this. Because I'm going to have to reform a lot of my forces and try and reclaim that. I can get some guys from Bruma. Oh. They're actually attacking me here in Iverstead. Okay. No, still I think this is a good place to end this video. I'll come back to this battle in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Um, additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.